Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we're going to learn about page links and standard links. So if you go into your field group and you click on add field uh, and you go down to relational and click on link, we'll just call this link. There are some options here. You, it can return just an array of data of that link or just the URL by itself. And everything else is pretty self-explanatory. If you click on update and go to one of the pages that this field group is linked to, so I'll go to say location and I'll click on Sydney and we'll click in edit post, you'll see a link at the bottom here. So what this is, is basically gives you the ability to either hard code a URL in. So you could just say something like google.com. You could say click here to go to Google and you could also make it open up a new tab. So when you click on add link and you update the page, you can then utilize that in an array. So I'll show you how to do that. If you just go into the project and you go to single location, which is, that's the custom post type. Um, I'll just get rid of these and I will receive the actual link. So we'll do link equals get underscore field. And then the ID of the field, which is link. Uh, and then we'll just echo that out or we'll print R, PHP echo, print R, link. And we'll go to that specific location. And as you can see, it's an array of data and it shows the title, the URL on the target. So to manipulate that, it's quite easy. You can do PHP if link, close the if statement inside there, anchor tag, PHP echo link URL, and then the target equals PHP echo link target, I believe, I'll just make sure of that. Yep, target, and then obviously the title of the link as well. So you can just do PHP echo link title and close the anchor tag. Refresh it, and I'll just get rid of this pre-tag here. Click here to go to Google, click on it, opens up in a new tab. But if we then go back and we change this and we turn off the ability to open up a new tab, and update it, you'll notice it will just go to in the same window. So that's pretty cool. Now, what if we wanted to link to an internal page? Well, we could just go edit and search for the page we want to link to and then click on it. Obviously edit this, you know, see our gallery. Add link, update, same sort of thing. When you click on it, we'll go to your gallery. Now, the one thing you need to be sh uh, a bit mindful of is if you're developing the website on your local server, once you uh, set all this up in your local server and then you send it live, you'll notice that the this particular field, the link field, is actually hard coding the address. So you'll find that on your production server, the address will still be linking to the development server's address. So you will either have to go in here and manually change it to the production server address, or you could do some sort of find and replace in the database. There's a couple of plugins on WordPress that allows you to do it, or you could go directly into you know PHP my admin or something like that and update it that way. But you definitely need to be mindful of that because it is actually hard coding the URLs. Okay, so that's the standard link field. Now, if we go back into our fields here, and go to the relational fields. And we want to add another one called a page link. It's slightly different to a standard link. And there it is. And you'll see that this basically gives you the ability to view all the pages that are on the actual website. You can restrict to different post types. You can restrict it to different taxonomies and all that sort of stuff. You can make it so it selects multiple values, all that sort of stuff. But it's restricting the link to a page on the website. And it doesn't hard code the URL. It literally saves the ID of the page so that no matter what, if you're on a development or a production server, it will always know which page to go to. So for an example, we'll just save that and we'll go to this page now and we will 
go to the bottom, you'll see the page link. And as you can see, it's already different. You can't really do anything but choose a page to link to. So let's link it to the gallery and we'll click on update. We'll then go here and let's receive it. So page underscore link equals get field page underscore link. And then we will take away the echo there and just see what happens. I'll just remove that. We'll view the post. And there we go. It's just literally a string. It doesn't have a title. It doesn't have a target like the link field. So basically you just have to do an anchor tag within there, PHP echo page link. And then, you know, put a hard coded link, click here. And then to do the target, you'd have to do, you know, target equals underscore blank, for example. Refresh, click here, opens up in a new tab and it goes to the gallery page. As mentioned before, the beauty of it is, is it doesn't hard code the actual URI to the page or the, the URL. Um, it only hard codes the ID so that it knows where to go exactly, even doesn't matter if it's a local or production environment. Now, if we go back to fields again and we go to page link, there is an option to have it select multiple values. And like my previous videos, they are, it is just going to be a multiple select field. And uh, yeah, you can obviously highlight multiple pages and you can update it. But this is not gonna work now because you click here will actually, as you can see at the bottom of the screen here, it actually says array which obviously isn't going to work. So we just need to structure it as an array or uh, echo out the array. So PHP, maybe the first thing you want to do is if page link, you might also want to change it to page links because it's got many links there. Um, wrap it in an if statement and then do PHP for each page links as link PHP and for each and then kind of the same thing. Change that to link and then see this is going to be a bit difficult because you can't really put a title of the actual page. I'll just go back into the field settings here and just make sure we can't do that. Uh, yeah, so basically it comes through as a string by the looks of it. Uh, we can confirm that by doing php print echo printer uh, link. And refresh it again. Yeah, and they're just coming through as strings. So what you could probably do is just do php echo link as a title as well, so you can differentiate between the links. Just make it a list item. Just to make it nice and easy to read. Okay, there you go. So yeah, so the, the page link field is a bit more limited to the standard link field. However, as mentioned before, if you are going to be going developing on a development server and then going to production, it's going to cause problems for you. So you need to make sure that you take care of that when you move over to production and the page link will always know which page to go to. Okay, um, hope that helped and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.